Make sure to like, subscribe, guys. Make sure to get this to 10,000 likes. Hey, guys. We are so happy that we got to collaborate with Story Booth because we created our first animation. Woo! We are so happy to collaborate with Story Booth because they inspire and empower other kids by letting them share their stories with their animation. So, roll film. <laughs> We used to live in a hundred-year-old Victorian house that reminded me of a haunted mansion. The type of house that looked like there were ghosts walking through the hallways and skeletons hiding in the closets. One night, I was laying awake wondering why the dogs were barking and whimpering so much. I tried to sleep, but I had a bad feeling in my stomach. Just when I thought I could sleep, all of a sudden, a big, shadowy black figure swept across the walls in my room. It was then I realized it was a bat. I rolled out of bed as fast as I could with a blanket over my head, crawling military style into Shalom's room. I continued to scream, and Shalom, not knowing what I was screaming about, started screaming with me. We both saw the bat fly into the hallway, and she jumped over me and shut her door. With all her screaming, it was surprising that Shiloh did not wake up. We screamed at him to wake up. Shasha joined us as we made a mad dash towards our parents' room, which was on the fourth floor. Everybody was now upstairs, huddled together in terror, my mom on the phone talking to animal control, and our dad, dressed for war, heading back down towards the stairs to find the bat. We thought we were safe, until we overheard animal control telling our mom that the bat would find its way to the highest point of the house. We all looked at each other in horror. We realized our parents' room was the highest point of the house. We heard a rustling in the closet. All chaos broke loose when the bat burst through the opening in the closet door. Shasha grabbed the food she had been eating and headed for the stairs. Shalom grabbed sleepy Shiloh and headed for the stairs. My mom grabbed the phone and headed for the stairs. And I grabbed my blanket, covered my head. And we all passed my dad, who was now wondering what was going on and why everyone was screaming and heading downstairs towards the bat. We all slammed the door shut again and locked our dad upstairs with the bat. Our dad couldn't catch the bat. So we ended up spending the entire night in the basement, as far away from the top of the house as possible. We stayed awake all night, playing Monopoly, watching TV, playing cards, and when that didn't work, swapping turns, keeping watch until Animal Control came in the morning. Animal Control caught the bat with a sticky trap. Animal Control told us we might see another bat because it may smell the trail of the first one. We scoffed at that. Surely this would be the only one. One week later, I noticed a familiar black shadowy reflection flying right behind me. I dashed out the door. I stood outside, watching as it was flying around, heading upstairs to where we all knew it was going to make itself at home. We knew where we were heading though. We moved out that night and never came back. Thank you guys for joining us in our journey. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was yeah. so scary and we we're so happy that Story Booth collaborated with us on this project. If you want to check out more empowering, inspiring, or funny stories, we'll leave a link in the description below to their channel. And if you want to send them a story, go ahead. See you guys later! Bye! Do you have a story to tell? Go ahead and submit it to Story Booth or comment down below. And if you want to see more stories, subscribe to their channel. Follow us on our Snapchat, Facebook, Musical.ly, and Instagram. And subscribe to our other channel, Onyx Family. And our gaming channel, Play Onyx. Bye!